Once upon a time in Italy, there was a boy named Gigi. Gigi lived in a little house with his mother. One day, though, he, Gigi, decided to go and see the world. Gigi, where are you going? Gigi, why are you leaving me? Mama, I want to see the world and see adventure and fortune and stuff. Gigi, my house is breaking. Don't worry. Mama, it's not like I'm going to get stuck on top of a mountain. That would be just silly. Before you know it, I'll be back with fine clothes and a bag of gold, and we will live happily ever after. Oh, Gigi, gold and fine clothes won't make you happy if you don't have a good heart. Do you remember what I told you? The world was visit? No, I said that you wouldn't give from people what you give to people. Sure, sure, but well, I'll remember. Bye! Gigi set off to find fortune and adventure and stuff. After many hours, he saw an old woman on the road ahead. Hi there, I'm Gigi. Let me carry that heavy sack for you. Thank you, young man. I thought my back would break. Your kindness deserves kindness in return. Please, take my cat and dog. Show them loyalty and they will be your most loyal friends. Well, thank you. Hello, cat. Hello. Hello, dog. Woof. Take this ring, too. It's beautiful. It's not just a beautiful ring. If you ever need something, put the ring on. Make a wish and twist the ring around your finger. Then what? You'll see one more piece of advice before I go. Never ever tell anyone about your ring. If you do, it will only bring you trouble. What a nice old woman. Weird, but nice. Okay guys, let's go. Gigi and his new friends walked all day. When evening came, they were still deep in the forest. Wow, there's sure a lot of the trees in the tally. Oh. Meow. I wonder if this ring really works. Okay, I wish for a big bowl of macaroni and cheese. Get me a fat tuna too. Sure, you can talk? What, you never met a talking cat before? No, I can't say I have. Why didn't you say something earlier? You dare ask. You can talk too. You have a ring with your king grand wishes. Why are you so surprised by talking animals? Whoa, it's like a, I am in some sort of fairy, fairy tale. Something like that? I'll have a nice juicy bone by the way. Okay, I wish for a big bowl of macaroni and cheese, a fat tuna, a nice juicy bowl. Whoa, this is tasty. Delicious. Mouth watering. As the three friends ate their fill, Malaria, the daughter of an eminent lord, was walking in the forest. Everyone agreed that Malaria was the most beautiful girl in Italy. Whoa, she's the most beautiful girl in the telly. Gigi, Gigi. She's so beautiful. Ah, who am I kidding? A girl like her won't look twice at a person like me. Wait a minute. I have a wishy ring. I wish for fine clothes a bit, and a big house and servants. I'll tell her I'm a lord. Now she'll talk to me for sure. Are you sure this is a good idea? It's not nice to lie to people, Gigi. No, it's okay. I wish for a suit of fine clothes fit for a lord and, and a big mansion and servants too. Oh yes, awesome. How did a peasant like him get such a fine house? I must learn his secret. What's your name, my lady? I am Marlarda. Marlarda, that's a beautiful name. You are too kind, my lord. Does this peasant think he can deceive me? 
Two can play at this game, and I am the superior player. My lord, how did you earn this year for two? Well, it's sort of a secret. Oh, I love secrets. I bet it's a really exciting one. It is. Please tell me. <coughs> you, you only just meet this girl, Gigi. Yeah, I don't trust her. How rude, Lord. Gigi, are you just going to let your animals and suit me like that? Banish them. I'm sorry if they offended you, my lady, but they're my friends and we'll banish them. As you wish, Lord Gigi. Please tell me your secret, though. I promise I won't tell anyone. Please, pretty please. Oh, okay. This way can make wishes come true. That's amazing. How does it work? You put it on your finger like this. No, Gigi, don't. Then you make, then you make a wish and twist a ring around your finger. I see. Well, Lord Gigi, I wish that you and your fruit friends were on top of the highest mountain in Italy. What? No! No! Foolish, foolish Gigi, thank you for your wonderful week and your fine mansion. If you think I have a cold heart, believe me, it's not as cold as Gigi and his friends are right now. Gigi and his friends are in big trouble. Thanks to Maliarda, they are on top of the highest mountain in Italy. Freezing winds howl all over, are all around them. So cold! I can't feel my nose. We have to get out of here. I don't see any way down. We're trapped. There's no way down on two legs, but I have four. I, it can't always land on, on its its feet. Gigi, it, you being a good friend will get our, your ring back from Molly Yarkin. Gigi's loyal, loyal friends climbed down the mountain. They arrived at Malaria's house in the middle of the night. I don't see any light. Malaria must be sleeping. It's not. Now what? I have an idea. I can dig a hole under the door. You need a very big hole. Have you got a better idea? Wait, what's that? Eek. Oh, hell. Oh, please don't hurt me. Quiet, or I'll ha have you for breakfast. This isn't the time for a snack. This is no snack, my friend. This is how we get the ring back. Listen very carefully. You're going to, to help us. If you do, well, let you go. If you don't eat mouse pancakes for breakfast, do you understand? Eep. Squeeze on the, this door. Inside the house, there's a girl. Find her. There's a gold ring on her and girl finger. Take that ring and bring it to us. And then you will let me go? Yes. Yes, little mouse will let you go. Oh, oh, okay, I will help you. Good thinking, cat. Thank you, Don. Do you have it? You want me to find a ring? Yes. A gold ring? Yes. On girl's finger? Yes. Yes. I didn't find a gold ring on the girl's finger. Oh no. Poor Gigi, how will we save him now? I didn't find a gold ring on chain around 
girl's neck, but I guess it not no, it's not the ring you want. That is the ring we want. Oh, that's lucky. Here you go. Oh, silly mouse, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I think you'll be going then. Goodbye, mouse. Not if I can help it. Quick, use the ring to save Gigi. I wish that Gigi was here right now. You saved me. Oh, thank you, my friend. Any longer on that mountain, and I would have been gelato. I'm so happy to see you, Gigi. Me too, but what about Maliarda? I think she deserves a taste of her own medicine. Let me have the ring. I wish that Moriara was on top of the highest mountain in Italy. Oh no! Gigi, I know she a terrible person, but I would be careful to leave Mariana top, on top of the mountain. You're right, I'll be merciful. I wish that Moriarty was only halfway up the highest mountain in the town. Not again! You know, Mama was right. You do get from people what you give to people. I was kind to the old woman and she was kind to me. I was loyal to my friends and they were loyal to me. But when I lied to Moriarty, she lied to me. Well, I hope you learned your lesson, Gigi. I sure have. Gigi brought his mother to live with him in his new in his new mansion. And they all lived happily ever after.